Yeah. No, otherwise you have to wait for it to go to the Yeah. 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 Hello, this is not a spring chicken. We're going to show you how to make something really quick and easy that makes you look like a gourmet. But how would they know you got it out of a can? Actually, we're cooking leftovers, partially. Yeah. So basically, all we do is have, we happen to have a can of soup. This happens to be a can of soup of bean with bacon. Pick your favorite variety. But the twist on this is not the can of soup, which is why we're not showing it to you. The twist on this is the leftovers that you had this happened to be the leftovers from the pumpkin. The pumpkin bar pie. The <laughs> pumpkin bar pie. <laughs> I know. Just, just put that in the can, can and then we'll. So we're, we're going to pour this in here. And what it was was the leftover spices from it, from the well, from the silverware that was in here, right? It's buttered. Buttered it's, rum and, bu pumpkin. and pumpkin pie butter. And then we poured some milk in it to get it off the sides. And then we're going to use this to go back and forth. We're cleaning out, basically cleaning out the insides of that. Yeah. And cleaning out I know. the sides of this. I know. And they say you want to show people what you can do in a hurry and really surprise the daylights out of them. And you don't waste anything. That's right. You're not wasting anything. You're in fact saving stuff. You're giving it a unique twist that actually makes it taste gourmet-like. And yeah. you're thinking, well, if I like it, how am I supposed to replicate it? Um, anytime you want to. You, you can. just You just use... Uh, you just if put, you remember what you put in here... That's all. I mean, you know, basically it's just um, pumpkin pie, but it's a uh, uh, pumpkin pie spice, butter, and um, and buttered rum, and, and beans and milk. That's and all it is. It's buttered rum. It's, it has... Um, Brown sugar. Brown sugar. That's what it is. So it's not difficult. You can manufacture it from most of what people have on hand. If you got leftover beans, this to do it. This is just going to give you something really overly rich. So we put it on for like a minute and a half on high and stir it. This is absolutely perfect for those cold winter days. Yeah. Uh, oh, excuse me. It's not quite winter. Cold fall days. I don't know what we call it out here, folks. It's, it's gloomy out there. This feels like winter. Yeah, so we we don't throw anything away that can be used on, on cooking with not a spring chick is and always has been the only green cooking show on television. Of course, it's, it's on cable. What? It's on internet. Google like this. So I know we've actually they've seen the can by now. So <laughs> no, it's a good. We're not supposed to tell that the products are anymore. But what we can do is tell you that we pick up stuff when it's on sale and then we go to the pantry and we pull out from the pantry and we use what we, we have from the pantry. We use what we have. So, and you're going, why? It's like, there's some great brands for different types of soup. If you have some favorite brands, grab what you like and just use that. Just yeah. store, stock it in your cupboard so that when you want something, you have it there. It's just like we over... You don't have to go run out and buy it. The other day we got a great deal on um, corn and... Um, and, and cream of mushroom cream soup. Of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom soup is a god-awful expensive... a quarter can. Yeah, a quarter a can. And it's, it's not out, it's nowhere near out of date. Mm -hmm. They changed the packaging on the cans. The yeah. label, the packaging, so they're removing all of the stuff because that it doesn't no, it no longer matches with the labeling they well, have. So. And cream of mushroom soup is actually a really good base to have on hand. Yeah, you can use it for all sorts of cooking. And so we're just going to mix this up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you can really make some really... How much longer? Uh, just give it another one minute now, and it should be done, ready to eat. Remember, if you don't stir this thing after a minute and a half, it's not going to warm up, folks. Mm -hmm. But um, cream of mushroom soup you know, people think, well, okay, we use it for pastas, but mix it with mashed potatoes. Oh. And you've got yourself an ungodly, a little mashed potatoes Maybe, and, a, yeah. and some rosemary in it, and you have made yourself, or garlic, and you really made yourself some unbelievable soup. Or make use it as a, as a gravy. Yeah. Just thicken it up a little uh, bit. You can also, um, say, uh, Here's another one. Uh, bread, uh, bread, a pe bread a steak, which is basically take a steak, uh, dip it in batter, um, fry the thing a little bit, and then 
put it over in uh, warm human mushroom sauce to finish cooking. Mm -hmm. You've got yourself. They just put all of your steak pieces in the bowl with the, with the with the pan with cooking with cream mushroom sauce and it's got a, all that's gonna soak together and you got some. Oh, okay. Then you got the gravy that's left in there to pour over everything. Ooh. They should be done now, folks. Should too. be done. What are they gonna plan on? I have no idea. Who knows? Oh, here it is. You okay. had you know we lose things. So we're as you tell somebody's getting ready to eat lunch. Oh, that looks good. Yep. That's good and very rich. And for this, I will get a spoon out. Yeah, well, her spoons look like, I've never seen spoons as big as her spoons. What? These are my spoons. I know. But, uh, you know, it's just a simple way to take leftovers. This could be beans out of your out of your refrigerator that you've made. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is really good like that. Yeah. I, I had really, really good like that. Because I, when the instant, I, mm. I had a choice between the mushrooms or this blend, and I figured, well, mm. we got this blend. We've got it. We should, Gotta mm. be good. Mm. We were gonna use it for eggnog. Yeah, but I decided that food comes first because she starts to. Oh, this is really good. Yeah, well, guess who's eating all of that, mm. folks? <laughs> How do you keep a figure when she eats like that? No, but mm. this is like um, we were trying to do things in ten minutes. This was god awful less than ten minutes. This was done in like uh, five minutes, mm. and if you got canned beans or if you have beans in the refrigerator, bean soup that you have left over mm. or anything, you can do it just this quick. Mm. Mm. So. so, milk, brown sugar, butter, pumpkin spice. spice. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's Halloween. Flavor to your taste. Yeah, but it just gives you something a little bit different from leftovers. Mm. I would tell them bon appetit. Enjoy, but there's nothing going to be left.